It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. I love Halloween. Everything about it. It's perfect. The treats, the weather, the trees, the smells, the movies, the music, the clothes, the costumes, the heavens. Well, I love Halloween with all of my heart now. I actually used to hate Halloween as a kid. I was just a wuss who was afraid of everything all the time. So as soon as Halloween came around, I just, I knew it was over for me. To give you an idea of how scared I was, I used to have to cover my eyes and ears when entering a spirit Halloween with my mom, or else I would start screaming and crying and I would not stop until we were outside. I still love trick-or-treating though, that never got old. I would just avoid houses with decorations that were too scary for my taste. You know, the way I actually got over my Halloween fear was just gaslighting myself. You know? I love Halloween. I love it so much. Yep. Favorite holiday. I love killer clowns and demons and ghosts and zombies. I love it all. It is my favorite. And somehow it worked well enough that my whole brand is basically Halloween. So just know, if you gaslight yourself enough, you can do anything. As much as I love Halloween, it's gotten a lot more lame for me. Obviously at my grown ass age, I don't go trick or treating anymore, but I'm also not cool enough to go to parties like all the other people my age and then none of my IRL friends enjoy watching horror movies. So the past few Halloweens, I've plopped my spooky ass down in an empty room and watched spooky movies in a dark room by myself with a bowl of candy, usually dressed in a funky Halloween outfit. I don't know, maybe this year I'll sit in the bushes and scare innocent children. Depends on my mood. Also, random tidbit about trick-or-treating, the hour before you actually go out to trick-or-treat is some of the most stressful shit. Cause you're getting into your costume, you need your poor stressed mother to help you out with makeup, you wanna go outside and leave cause you see your friend out there, but apparently it's not time yet, so you're just sitting there stressing and shaking because you're losing precious candy time. This is very different to the time immediately after trick-or-treating, because I'm pretty sure as soon as you get home, that's a new dimension. You're not home anymore. It's the equivalent to being in a Walmart parking lot after 10.30 p.m. Time doesn't exist and reality is a fleeting concept. Then you pound some candy and pass out. Segway. Halloween candy. My family always used pillowcases to trick or treat with and we'd have those bags lying around well into Christmas. Obviously as a child I'm thinking, well I can't throw this away, that's ding dang candy right there and I'd let it sit in the corner of my room for weeks on end until one day it just poofs out of existence. Gone. Bam. Just like that. And I never questioned it. Also, if you're the family who instead of handing out candy, you hand out those cheap spider rings, no one liked you. If I spend my sweet ass time walking up to your porch, knocking on your door, just for you to give me a piece of plastic, just remember that I know where you live. My family doesn't give out anything too crazy candy-wise, we usually just get those bulk candy bags from like Walmart or something. Except for this one time when we ran out of candy, so I gave this one kid in the Batman costume like three frozen hot pockets. And there were at least a few houses in my neighborhood that would just give out hot dogs each year, so there's that. But it's got me thinking. Realistically, there's nothing stopping me or anyone else from just giving people whatever we feel like. Trick or treat! Listen, for an activity called trick-or-treating, there is a distinct lack of tricks happening around here. If there were equal amounts of tricks as there were treats, I would have been coming home with at LEAST four rats amongst my candy. So as a message to all of you candy dealers this year, give people less dots, more rats. I promise you, they'll prefer the rats. Dots are bad. Those were the candies that I'd give to my mom instead of eating them. She thought I was being a sweet, kind, and generous child, but really I was just purifying my candy stash. My personal favorite Halloween candies, aside from candy corn, are Heath Bars, Almond Joys, Nerds, and Laffy Taffy. Also, I can hear several of you typing away about your hatred for Almond Joys. Stop it. Get a job. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great and safe Halloween this year. I know I'm gonna have a wonderful time sitting by myself and watching some random horror movie. Or I don't know, maybe I'll fall down a YouTube rabbit hole where I question everything I once knew about the internet and society as a whole. Big fan of those lately. Happy Halloween. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got this video finished in time. I had to finish this video so fast, dude, which is uh, part of the reason as to why it's pretty short, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. I would have added more, but with going to TwitchCon and doing Halloween stuff with my family, I was just pretty busy. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween. Uh, if you plan on dressing up, uh, tell me what your costume is in the comments. I'm curious. Anyways, happy Halloween, you guys. Thank you again for all the support. Bye bye